going on throughout our country right now. It really is. We've got an extreme heat wave in the East Coast. Also, portions of California are going to be seeing extreme heat over the next couple of days. And you just heard it. It is actually the deadliest weather impact across the globe. So it's something we're continuing to keep a very close eye on. Thankfully, today will not be an extreme heat day. Today is still going to be a little bit on the warmer side, similar to what we saw just yesterday. Yesterday, 90 degrees in Paso Robles, 87 in California Valley, 82 in San Ynez. So not too bad, but still a little bit on the warmer side across the region, but beautiful if you got outside and enjoyed it, especially along the beaches where it was a little bit on the cooler side. Not a cloud in the sky, just a few more people out there on those beaches enjoying the beautiful weather. A little bit less of that added areas of wave energy was expected yesterday, and that thankfully has also started to calm down this morning as well. So things are looking pretty good. Pismo Beach outside right now from 805 webcams. There's a little bit of cloud cover, but it's mainly just offshore. You can even see the sunshine streaming through those trees in the Pismo Beach area this morning. No major concerns to start off the day. 50 degrees out there, winds about northwest at 10 miles an hour. Not too bad still a little bit breezy. Those winds are still going to be a bit of a nuisance over the next few days, but overall they are starting to calm down. Temperatures across the region right now, 48 degrees in Santa Maria and Paso Robles, as well as in San Inez, 52 in San Luis Obispo and Lompoc, a little bit warmer along our south coast, 63 in Santa Barbara and 61 degrees in Isla Vista right now. As you head out the door this morning, we do have one little concern, and that is for some dense fog in the San Inez Valley. Areas near Buellton on 101 are expecting to see some lowered visibilities, so so just take it slow on those roads and be extra cautious if you do run into a little bit of that dense fog right there at the surface. Another concern we've got today is also along the south coast, and that is for more high winds. Now we've got yet another sundown or wind event expected tonight into early tomorrow morning. So that high wind advisory that we've seen day after day has been expanded through tomorrow morning at 3 a.m. So we're keeping a close eye on that. Gusts up to about 50 miles an hour are expected. Checking out your temperatures across our communities today. 89 degrees in Paso Robles, exactly normal for this time of the year. 73 in San Luis Obispo, 70 in Santa Maria, 66 in Lompoc, and 68 degrees in Santa Barbara for today. Along our north coast, 63 in Cambria, 92 in San Miguel, and 74 degrees in Avila Beach for today. For our five cities, Rio Grande at 70, 90 in Shandon, and 63 degrees in Los Osos. And along our south coast, great conditions. Goleta at 70, 63 degrees in Vandenberg, and 87 degrees in the Koyama Valley for today. We're going to warm up back towards the triple digits on Saturday for those interior valleys. A little bit of a cool down is possible by early next week, but for our beaches and our coastal valleys, temperatures near normal for this time of the year with a little bit of added cloud cover all the way through the extended forecast with some nuisance wind gusts sticking around as well. Dylan, back to you.